Hey guys, it's K7, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play with any controller using the PlayStation Now app on PC. This doesn't apply for the PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 3 PlayStation Now versions. This only applies for PC. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you are going to want to have is you're going to want to have X360 CE and of course PlayStation Now. You can download PlayStation Now right here on the website. I've also left the link down in the description below. Also, you can download X360 CE also down in the, de in the description. So don't worry about it. It's right down there. So just go ahead and download those and we'll continue. So once you've downloaded the Xbox or X360 CE program and you've downloaded PlayStation Now, you want to install PlayStation Now. Once PlayStation Now finishes, don't start it. And there's a reason why. Once it's finished, you want to then go to wherever you may have saved your desktop shortcut for PlayStation Now, go to it and right click on the shortcut. Once you right click on the shortcut, you're going to see a few options. What you want to click on is open file location. This will open the file location for all the files containing to your PlayStation Now program. Once you've opened this window, you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And somewhere near the bottom, you're going to see an X pin deal. You're going to delete that. Leave the window open. There's a reason for that. Remember the program X360 CE that you downloaded earlier? Well, you're going to take that program and move it into the PlayStation Now folder. Once it's in there, you're, you don't want to start it normally what you want to do is to right click on the program once again and then click run in administrator make sure you do this or this won't work once you run the program in administrator mode the x360 ce will ask you if you want to create another xput deal for the PlayStation Now folder. You're going to click create. It'll ask you if you want to search for the files automatically, you always want to click search automatically and click next as many times as it asks you to search. When it finds, hit finish. Do it again as many times as you need to whatever it needs to install, it will install. So once you've done this, a controller configuration layout will show up. From this point, whatever, whatever controller that you're using, you can just set up from here, whatever button layout, whatever scheme you want, um, doesn't matter. It's all up to you. You can do it from this particular menu. So once you finish this part, the only thing you will need to do is now run PlayStation Now. Run any game, set your controls within the game if need be, and it should work. You shouldn't have any problems using any controller that you want for PlayStation Now on your PC ever again. Even if you want to use your keyboard, it doesn't matter. This will work with any controller. Well, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope this tutorial helped you guys. If you have any questions, leave your thoughts down in the comments section. And also, I'd like to know what you guys think of this little handy mod, I'd say, for PlayStation Now PC. Let me know if it works for you, or let me know if you hate it also. Well, anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Take care, and God bless you guys. Till next time, this has been K7. Peace.